Hello, everybody. This is Johnny. I wanted to demonstrate to you guys what a crackle lacquer was and how it reacts to, to a door. I think it's a really cool finish. I thought I would share it with you guys. It's not something that I do every single day. Um, however, however, I have a lot of experience with it, but it's just kind of something that's cool to share with, uh, with you guys out there. So anyhow, um, what a crackle lacquer is is basically this. It is a, it's, it's, this is a door that's completely cracked. What I have is a brown base coat, brown base coat underneath with a yellow crackle. Now this yellow crackle is going to change color. This is not the color of the crackle. This is just the base coat of the crackle. And I'm going to manipulate the colors, you know, using reds and browns and blacks and in a series of different types of techniques, stippling, dry brushing, you know, um, effects and so forth like that. So, but anyhow, I thought I would show it to you so you can see exactly how it works. So here it is. Hope you guys like it. Now you can already start to see it crack and if you notice when I was spraying it, I didn't spray it consistently. I mean I sprayed it very inconsistent and that's how you get a variation in cracks um, all over the door. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't want the cracks to be completely consistent. Every manufacturer is different. This is a production crackle lacquer. So it's going to be a little bit different from the stuff that you see at, you know, Michaels and so forth. That's a hide glue that you apply that by hand. And this here is applied with a gun. So depending on how you lay it out with your gun is going to give you the desired effect. So you do have to kind of play with it and manipulate it a little bit to kind of figure out what direction you want to go um, with, uh, with your crackle. So you can control it. But... Um, um, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Here it is. So you can see I got some big cracks. I got some small cracks. It's a little light in the center, which is fine because some of the other uh, doors that I've done are, are different than this. And once it's all glazed, the color tones all come together, but the cracks is what really gives it its authenticity. So, um, this is what I enjoy about this finish. And here's another one. You can see how the cracks are completely different from that door. So like I said, I'll go ahead and glaze this several times over using a, a number of different colors. I'll probably start off with the red um, and then uh, start building up from there to some of my darker browns and uh, use a lot of different techniques such as dry brushing, stippling, um, fly specking, and so forth. So I might even put like a gray type of glaze in the cracks to really make sure that it really looks really, really weathered and authentically old. So that's the whole idea behind a crackle lacquer. So this is just the beginning process of what um, this finish is going to, to look like. So, But this is, this is pretty cool. So I just thought I would share it with you guys. Take care. Have a great day.